Hello, welcome. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. Sorry we're coming to you a little bit late. We had a few difficulties with the technical side of things. You're watching day two of the Coach Car Classic at San Jose City College. The Monterey Peninsula Lobos are taking college of the Siskiyou's Eagles. It's 2-0 right now. The Lobos have a lead. Kenny Garrard had a steal early. Wasn't able to convert. This time he does. Trey Titus was the Lobo to score before our broadcast began. Less than two minutes into the game, you haven't missed much. Yesterday, the Lobos took on Allen Hancock and lost 77-79 in a very close contest. Siskiyou took on San Jose City and, despite leading for most of the game, fell in an abnormal shooting night for both teams as they both scored about 20 points below their season average. So they're looking to turn that around in this game today. The head coach for Monterey Peninsula is Blake Spearing. His assistant coaches are Daniel Aoff, Adisa Vaughn, and Michael Villarana. For the Eagles, the head coach Kyle Heath and his assistant Adrian Russell. I'd say the star player for the Eagles yesterday would be number 21, the sophomore forward, Kate Ely. Filled out his stat sheet. And for the Lobos, it would probably go to Trey Titus, who had a number of threes and was instrumental in a lot of plays for them yesterday. Shot blocked. That was Cole Bernius with the block. Newfeld drains one from outside. Siskius takes their first lead. Rejected. But Bernius with another block. Bernius gets the contact and he'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play here. Bernius came into the tournament averaging almost nine and a half points a game on 77.8% shooting. A lot of guys in their 70s and 80s. Field goal average up and down the Eagles roster. Yesterday definitely was an abnormality. All right, Bernius gets three on that play. Gerbainer's pass broken up by Zane Luth, who gets in the way. Lobos keep control. Field goal attempt is no good. And Braden Watts gets the rebound for the Eagles. It's Newfeld. Little floater doesn't drop. Cabaner looking ahead. Pass broken up. Again, Bernie is in there on the play. They swing the ball around. It's Watts. Can't connect. But Ely there with the rebound. And Ely there with a the putback. Two offensive boards early on that possession alone. As Adams can't connect right in front of the basket. Had a good shot, got past his defenders. Ball just didn't want to agree to go in the hole. And it's going to be a turnover on the Eagles. A little bit of an errant pass. Defender hand in there. And the result will be Lobo's possession. 
with a six-point deficit. About five minutes gone in this first half. NBC needs to get something going here. And a uh, nice stroke there. That's Jordan Lopez from outside. Nothing but net. Cuts the deficit in half. Bernie has had to leap up to get that pass. Siskiyou is definitely outsized by most of the teams in this tournament. But they match up well with NPC. Lobos are going to get the ball now. We're working with one camera. We'll have another camera for you. That's A.J. Gabaner. Drains that one, ties the game up. We'll have uh, more cameras, our, our typical cameras for you after the half. Ely from deep. And one, Eric Green takes it to his defender's chest, draws the contact. NBC now with their first lead of the game. I'm sorry, it will be the second lead. They did score the first bucket. Chance to make it a three-point game. Green connects. Ely looking a little surprised to get that ball back so quickly. Getting harassed there. Full court press by MPC. Siskiyou gets it past midcourt. Nick Dory all up in his face. Hit the deck. That looked like Newfeld, I believe. And Watts with the block from behind on Gobainer. Twenty-two still on the shot clock. Plenty of time for the Lobos. The bucket. Shot good by, looked like Adams on the outside there. Sorry, that's not Nick Dory. That'd be Jamie Paul I was saying earlier. Nick Dory is for the Eagles. So it's Jamie Paul, that aggressive defense on that previous possession. Couple of attempts, no good. It's going to go back to the Lobos. Hey. Shot by Adams. That one's good. And we got a quick whistle. We're going to have a timeout. You're watching. Monterey Peninsula Lobos take on the Siskiyou Eagles on NorCal Sports TV. We'll be back in a moment. San Jose City College has given me the chance to play for an amazing coach and thrive in an excellent academic environment. From the faculty to the coaches to the counselors, SJCC puts students first. City College has the perfect balance of athletic and academic support that I know will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Coming to SJCC is the best decision I have ever made. I love being a Jaguar. All right, welcome back to NorCal Sports TV. I'm Sonny Oaks. You're watching the Eagles take on the Lobos. Day two of the Coach Car Classic hosted by San Jose City College.
Since we didn't get it to it at the top of the broadcast, today's officials, Crew Chief Mark Gray. I'm sorry, Crew Chief is Spencer Cook. We also have Mark Gray and Israel Serrano. As Adams goes up and rejected behind by Newfeld and Nick Dore, 23 for the Eagles, with the comes up with the ball and they get it down for the four click and Watts iron. Lobo is going to get the ball here as he goes out of bounds on an Eagles player. And we have another timeout. We'll be right back on. No, no, no timeout. Just another sub. As Paul Lee goes, Jamie Paul goes back to the bench. And Malik Ross comes in. Along with Najon Pierre, Trey Titus, and Noah Semple for the Lobos. Kenny Garrard shoots. It's Ely with the rebound for the Eagles. So it's Ely, Landon Ellis, Josh Allen, Braden Watts. On the floor, Nick Dory for the Eagles. Has nothing doing. Ely gets a hand in there, goes out of bounds. Stops the fast break by the Lobos. They got to reset the shot clock that never, it never started. Stayed at 30. They bring it to 25. Simple, guarded by Dory, but it's Trey Titus. The one hand can't get it. It's Ely with another rebound. Dobson in now for the Eagles. It's Nick Dory for the shot, and that connects. Fifteen on the shot clock. They find Titus with just a little space and he connects for three. He was on fire at the start of the game yesterday. Josh Allen has to give the ball up, guarded by Malik Ross. As Najon Pierre Runs in that lane and knocks the ball out of bounds. 15 on the shot clock for the Eagles. Just about 10 minutes gone now in this first half. As Dory goes up, draws contact from both sides. Gets the whistle. They're going to make the big man earn his two points. The foul was on Trey Titus. It's his second of the contest. The first one's good. Good for both of them. Semple trying to get it in. Those quick hands by the Eagles defenders. That was uh, Landon, Landon Ellis. Knocked that one out of bounds. 21 on the shot clock. Knocked away by Dory. Ellis comes up with it. He's pushing. He goes up and off the glass is good. A little layup. His first points of the game. Jean-Pierre. Back of the rim. But he's hounding Ellis. He's forced to give it up. But they get it across midcourt. Dory does a little Euro step. No good. Went up a little strong on it. 
surprised. I think he was expecting a little bit more contact. Semple. Thompson picks up his dribble. Josh Allen gets a nice little feed in there to the trailing Dory. Connects. That'll be seven points for Nick Doria tonight, today. Still quite bright outside. At 14 left on the shot clock. Dory, guard, Dory guarding Semple. Semple gets around him and goes up and draws just enough contact. He's going to go to the line. Dory can't believe it. Felt like it might have been a might have been a travel. No, they're going to call it on the floor. So no shot attempt. They reset the shot clock to 20 because of the foul. Gerard air ball. But he guns up with the ball in the shot attempt. And Dory gets the rebound. Sorry, Dory gets the over the back call. A simple grab that rebound. Score's knotted up. It's 8.26 left in this first half. Siskiyou looking to get a win in this tournament after leading most of the game yesterday, dropping a heartbreaker to San Jose City. Pretty much the same story for Monterey Peninsula. We lost 77-79 to Allen Hancock just in the last few minutes of that game. Dobson going baseline has to get it back out. It's Josh Allen all alone, just a little space. Can't get it to fall, but Bernie is there for the offensive board, and Dobson pulls the trigger, drains it. Nothing but net from the corner. Will Dobson averaging 7.7 coming into this tournament. On 61, almost 62% shooting. Almost 50% from the three-point line, 48-8. Gabainer, nice little 18 footer. Bernius picks up the dribble, finds a cutting Dobson. And they get a corner shot by Ellis, and it's good. Rejected by Bernius. Bernius with another block in this game. Jordan Lopez with another three. Ooh, and a nice shot there. Who's that? So it's Paul, Jamie Paul shoots, can't connect. But he's right there. Dobson pulls the trigger and he hits again. Holds the hand up there for a second, let him know. A 
Will Dobson with three threes in the game so far. Garrard goes up tough and he gets the contact. He's going to visit the line. And this is the sort of play you need right now when you start to get a couple threes in your face like that and the other team starts to separate. Sometimes you just got to go right to the hoop. Get yourself to the line. Stop the bleeding. All right, two shots coming up for Kenny Garrard. The Lobos came into the tournament shooting 61% as a team from the free throw line. The Eagles, 75 All right, less than six to go in his half. The Eagles pulling away a little bit, but the Lobos have been able to get themselves right back in it every time that the Eagles going to run. Dobson again looking for his 4-3. He connects. And we have a whistle here by the Lobos. They're going to talk about it, maybe, maybe put somebody on Dobson a little bit closer. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. We'll be back after these messages broadcast of San Jose City Jag Basketball has been brought to you by San Jose City College. Learn about all we have to offer at sjcc.edu. San Jose City College Athletics. Learn more about our program at sjccjagwires.com. The Jump Manual. Proven vertical jump training. Increase your vertical jump 10 inches in 12 weeks. Guaranteed. Claim your free download of Chapter 1 at ProJumpTraining.com forward slash. Siskiyou, yeah, they're home. Welcome back to NorCal Sports TV. You're watching uh, Siskiyou's Eagles take on the Monterey Peninsula Lobos. It's the Eagles in the lead, 36-26. to 26. Apparently we had the score reversed on the broadcast. Any of you Eagle Eye fans noticed that. Nice shot there. The Boehner for Looked like he might have been on the line, so it's going to be a two there. That's eight in the game for him now. Bernie is all alone with all day to shoot. Connects on another three for the Eagles. Gabaner shoots, can't connect. Romero with the rebound. But we got a whistle on the floor against the Lobos. A little slow down here as the refs have a little meeting. All right, now everyone's on the same page. 4.45 left in the half. Make sure you stay tuned for the second half, and then we'll have the second game of day two of the Coach Car Classic. And that'll be De Anza making their first appearance in the tournament, taking on Alan Hancock. And that'll be at 5 o'clock. So the Eagles just owning the three-point line in this first half. Up by 10 now. Dobson, the man with the ball, has already hit three, four, four of them. Ball's coming back the other way. Offensive foul. On Dobson, a little push off. Good defense here by the Eagles. They leave the Lobos with 14, up oh, 20. They reset it back to 20. On the kickball. Oh, 
Lobo's having trouble finding space. Jean-Pierre can't connect. It's Dobson with the rebound. Newfeld right to the basket. Goes left, shoots with the right, draws the contact. Going to take a couple shots here. Under four now in the first half. Newfeld irons that one. Smooth shot on the second, one for two on those. So it's 40 to 29, 350 left in this first half. It's been all the Eagles these last few minutes as they create more havoc on defense. They knock another ball out of bounds, shorten that shot clock. NPC struggling to get a nice look. Siskiyou's just been flying all over. Jean-Pierre, a little razzle-dazzle, gets by everybody, just can't get the shot to fall. Dobson going for number five. Can't connect. Adams connects finally for the Lobos. They break their drought. Bring it back to single digits. Kate Ely leaking out in the corner. We'll see if they find him. Adams right there. Four on the shot. Bernius goes up. He gets fouled by Romero. It's going to get two shots. Bernius connected earlier on a free throw on a shot attempt that he made. And he hit a three. And he connects on the first two. We'll give him seven so far. Chance to make it eight here. Dobson goes to the bench. It's Ely, Watts, Newfeld, Bernius, and Luth. But we have a whistle and a timeout. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. I'm Sonny Oaks. We'll be right back. At Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, we want you to get your swing back, get your ride back, Get your sprint back. With our top-to-toe orthopedic care throughout the Bay Area, we want you to get your life back. Golden State Orthopedics and Spine. Ortho care for life. NorCal Sports TV. I'm Sonny Oaks. You're watching the Menorai, Monterey Peninsula Lobos take on the Siskiyou Eagles. It's the first game of day two. Coach Car Classic hosted by San Jose City College. Both these teams lost yesterday and they both really want their first win to come in this game. Unfortunately, one of them will not be the victor and we'll enter this tournament with two consecutive losses. A lot of pride on the line here. Siskiyou 
definitely improving on their shooting from last night where they were 20 points off their season average. Luth goes all the way. Can't connect, though. It's Romero with the rebound for the Lobos. Romero working on Bernius. Goes up with the left. Can't get it to fall. So whatever Siski you had last night, a little bit of it must have rubbed off on the Lobos today. Is even with some of their good looks, they just haven't got the lucky bounce. Unless you consider it bad luck, then they've had plenty of that. On shots that should have normally would have gone in as Eagles convert on another field goal. Cabaner rises. Again, can't connect. Out of bounds on the Lobos. Eagles with possession. Full court press here by the Lobos. They need to do something to work themselves back into it with the minute and 10 left in the half. It's been all Eagles. Less than a minute to go now of action. Titus now with a good look. In front of the rim. Bernie saves it for the Eagles. And they're already at midcourt. They back it back out. Gets the defense chance and just a little miscommunication there between Ely and Watts and ball goes out of bounds. Lobos catch a break there. Seven second difference between the game and shot clock. They'll have to shoot it before the end of the half. Malik Ross for three. Gets that one. Prettiest shot as you'll find anywhere. Nothing but net. Keep it at 10. They can get a stop here going into the half. Newfed has to get rid of it. The shot attempt, air ball, and that'll be the end of the half. So the Lobos. Down 10 to the Eagles in game two. I'm sorry, game one of day two of the Coach Car Classic. We have a player down on the floor still. It was an Eagle getting up a little slowly. That was Kate Ely. But he gets up now. It looks like he's going to be fine. All right. So we'll be back after the half. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm Sonny Oaks, and we'll see you shortly. Why are we walking? He came to work every day driven. Driven to be better than he was before. Driven for the team to be better than they were yesterday. Today, let's go. Driven for the team to be better than they were last year. Over four decades, Coach Carr notched more than 900 wins, the most in California community college history. He also took eight Jaguar teams to the state tournament won 12 conference championships, and he coached 17 first-team All-State players. Even more impressive, Coach Carr is the winningest black coach in U.S. collegiate basketball history. And in 1998, he was inducted into the California Community College Basketball Coaches Association Hall of Fame. This broadcast of San Jose City Jag Basketball has been brought to you by San Jose City College. Learn about all we have to offer at sjcc.edu. San Jose City College Athletics. Learn more about our program at sjccjagwires.com. The Jump Manual. Proven vertical jump training. Increase your vertical jump 10 inches in 12 weeks. Guaranteed. 
Claim your free download of Chapter 1 at ProJumpTraining.com forward slash free. San Jose City College has given me the chance to play for an amazing coach and thrive in an excellent academic environment. From the faculty to the coaches to the counselors, SJCC puts students first. City College has the perfect balance of athletic and academic support that I know will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Coming to SJCC is the best decision I have ever made. I love being a Jaguar. Growing up, I thought basketball was my best path, one shot to success. At San Jose City College, that all changed. My mentors saw more in me than I saw in myself and showed me that I could be anything. No one in my family had ever graduated from college, but I knew I had an obligation for future generations. At San Jose City College, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you set out to be. Discover your brilliance at San Jose City College. At Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, we want you to get your swing back, get your ride back, get your sprint back, with our top-to-toe orthopedic care throughout the Bay Area, we want you to get your life back. Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, ortho care for life. One falling down. He came to work every day driven, driven to be better than he was before, driven for the team to be better than they were yesterday. Today, let's go. Driven for the team to be better than they were last year. Over four decades, Coach Carr notched more than 900 wins, the most in California community college history. He also took eight Jaguar teams to the state tournament, won 12 conference championships and he coached 17 first team all-state players. Even more impressive, Coach Carr is the winningest black coach in U.S. collegiate basketball history. And in 1998, he was inducted into the California Community College Basketball Coaches Association Hall of Fame. San Jose City College has given me the chance to play for an amazing coach and thrive in an excellent academic environment. From the faculty to the coaches to the counselors, SJCC puts students first. City College has the perfect balance of athletic and academic support that I know will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Coming to SJCC is the best decision I have ever made. I love being a Jaguar. Nothing better than opening day and nothing better than opening day on a new field, in a new yard. So I'm really excited about this, uh, not only for the school, but for the athletes as well. It's a court, it's a court infield, a softer for less impact. I think it'll be a player friendly, uh, not, as, not as much impact on the body, not as much wear and tear on the body. Yeah, well, it's an exciting thing for the school, for the neighborhood, uh, for everybody. And it looks awesome. I'm excited to see the, the progress and First game, great great day for San Jose City College. So having athletics here in addition to our quality academic programs really provides a holistic experience for our students. And that's what I love about SJCC and I'm very thankful to our community with uh, uh, passing the bond so that we can really upscale our facilities for our students. At Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, we want you to get your swing back, get your ride back, get your sprint back. With our top-to-toe orthopedic care throughout the Bay Area, we want you to get your life back. Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, ortho care for life.
Why are we walking? He came to work every day driven. Driven to be better than he was before. Driven for the team to be better than they were yesterday. Today, let's go. Driven for the team to be better than they were last year. Over four decades, Coach Carr notched more than 900 wins, the most in California community college history. He also took eight Jaguar teams to the state tournament, won 12 conference championships, and he coached 17 first-team All-State players. Even more impressive, Coach Carr is the winningest black coach in U.S. collegiate basketball history. And in 1998, he was inducted into the California Community College Basketball Coaches Association Hall of Fame. This broadcast of San Jose City Jag Basketball has been brought to you by San Jose City College. Learn about all we have to offer at sjcc.edu. San Jose City College Athletics. Learn more about our program at sjccjagwires.com. The Jump Manual. Proven vertical jump training. Increase your vertical jump 10 inches in 12 weeks. Guaranteed. Claim your free download of Chapter 1 at projumptraining.com forward slash free. San Jose City College has given me the chance to play for an amazing coach and thrive in an excellent academic environment. From the faculty, to the coaches, to the counselors, SJCC puts students first. City College has the perfect balance of athletic and academic support that I know will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Coming to SJCC is the best decision I've ever made. I love being a Jaguar. Growing up, I thought basketball was my best path, one shot to success. At San Jose City College, that all changed. My mentors saw more in me than I saw in myself and showed me that I could be anything. No one in my family had ever graduated from college, but I knew I had an obligation for future generations. At San Jose City College, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you set out to be. Discover your brilliance at San Jose City College. At Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, we want you to get your swing back, get your ride back, get your sprint back, with our top-to-toe orthopedic care throughout the Bay Area, we want you to get your life back. Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, ortho care for life. One falling down. He came to work every day driven, driven to be better than he was before, driven for the team to be better than they were yesterday. Today, let's go. Driven for the team to be better than they were last year. Over four decades, Coach Carr notched more than 900 wins, the most in California community college history. He also took eight Jaguar teams to the state tournament, won 12 conference championships and he coached 17 first team all state players even more impressive coach carr is the winningest black coach in u.s collegiate basketball history and in 1998 he was inducted into the california community college basketball coaches association hall of fame San Jose City College has given me the chance to play for an amazing coach and thrive in an excellent academic environment. From the faculty, to the coaches, to the counselors, SJCC puts students first. City College has the perfect balance of athletic and academic support that I know will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Coming to SJCC is the best decision I have ever made. I love being a Jaguar. Yes!
nothing better than opening day and nothing better than opening day on a new field in a new yard. So I'm really excited about this, uh, not only for the school, but for the athletes as well. It's a cork, it's a cork infill, a softer for less impact. I think it'll be a player friendly, uh, not, as, not as much impact on the body, not as much wear and tear on the body. Yeah, well, it's an exciting thing for the school, for the neighborhood, uh, for everybody, and it looks awesome. I'm excited to see the, the progress, and first game, great, great day for San Jose City College. Hey, hey. So having athletics here, in addition to our quality academic programs, really provides a holistic experience for our students. And that's what I love about SJCC and I'm very thankful to our community with uh, uh, passing the bond so that we can really upscale our facilities for our students. At Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, we want you to get your swing back, get your ride back, get your sprint back, with our top-to-toe orthopedic care throughout the Bay Area, we want you to get your life back. Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, ortho care for life. He came to work every day driven, driven to be better than he was before, driven for the team to be better than they were yesterday. Today, let's go. Driven for the team to be better than they were last year. Over four decades, Coach Carr notched more than 900 wins, the most in California community college history. He also took eight Jaguar teams to the state tournament, won 12 conference championships and he coached hello and welcome back to NorCal Sports TV I'm Sonny Oaks you watching the Monterey Peninsula Lobos take on the Siskiyou Eagles in day two of the Coach Car Classic hosted by San Jose City College I'm your host, Sonny Oaks. As always, here on Sports Cal, NorCal Sports TV. Eagles started the half off with a 10 point lead. As they turned their shooting around from last night. Malik Ross steals that, gets it from behind. It's Gerard who ends up with it. Whistle on the floor. Looks like Titus stepped out of bounds on that three-point attempt. This time it's Semple with the quick hands. Garrard again ends up with it. And Dylan Luth almost gets the ball back. Zane Luth apologizes, Dylan Neufeld and Zane Luth for the Eagles. So the Lobos with plenty of time on the shot clock. trying to cut into this deficit to start off the second half. Thirteen on the shot clock. 
Gerard finds some space. Lobo still haven't quite found their range. Cutting Zane Luth. Draws the contact a little bit late of a foul. He's going to get to the line for two shots here. Foul's going to go against Semple. It'll be his second. Luth nails him. Came into the tournament averaging just over nine points a game on almost 73% shooting. It's Gerard now. Titus gets the rebound. Goes up between two defenders. Gets it. Trey Titus with the beautiful move. That's Newfeld who gets by his defender. Sweet little layup. Tim Duncan would have been happy with those fundamentals. Looks like he might have got his shot tipped there by Watts, who's up ahead. Semple behind. They're going to get him with the goaltend. That makes it 50 points now for the Eagles. NPC needs to start converting and getting a couple of stops here. They haven't been too lucky with the shot clock as Malik Ross takes it right to the basket, draws the contact, and one. NBC knows what they need to do now. It's all about execution here. The Ross completes the three-point play. Dufel gets his defender way up in the air, drives, gets met by two players, and it's blocked in the Lobos. Great defensive effort there. And a converted field goal. Lobos working their way, but it looks Ely with the mismatch, and Newfeld right there at the basket again. Easy two. Titus all alone from three all day. That's 10 for Titus. And Newfeld cutting again. They swing it out to Watts. Nothing but net. That's five for Watts. Jordan Lopez, another long range shot. Six point game now, it's 11 points for Lopez. Eight on the shot clock and we got a whistle. It's going to go against Ross, it looks like. Yeah, that'll be his first. As Gabaner and Adams come back on the floor for the Lobos.
shot underneath by Bernius. Nice little, nice little touch. Showed some patience, letting the defenders do their thing, and then just getting up enough to get that shot off. Jean Pierre, nice move to get by the defender. Just Lobos having no luck at the rim. Cade Ely passed a couple defenders, contact, but gets the ball knocked out of bounds. Eagles maintain possession. Birding is to inbound now. Newfeld driving, throws it back out. They spin it around. It's Watts going baseline. Gets hit with the offensive foul. Titus takes one for the team. So that's Watts' first foul. And then it's an offensive one. Adams finds Titus. Titus drives. Throws it up with the left, off the glass, and it's good. So MPC refusing to lose here. Not quitting, not even a little bit. Watts from deep, back of the iron. Adams comes down with it for the Lobos. And Titus, with just enough space, can't get it to fall. Tide is showing off that quick release. It's a little too much sauce on that one. Good ball movement here by the Eagles. Ten on the shot clock. It's Birdie is from deep. Not enough sauce. Ely gets the offensive board though. Luth goes up and they're gonna call a foul. Jordan Lopez can't believe it. I'm not sure I saw it either. I'm having a problem with my monitor, but he might have seen that replay better than I did. I'm not sure where the contact came from, but loose connects. It's a nine point game. We have a timeout, 1340 left in this game. Monterey Peninsula taking on the College of Siskiyous. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. I'm Sonny Oaks, and we'll be right back. Broadcast of San Jose City Jag Basketball has been brought to you by San Jose City College. Learn about all we have to offer at sjcc.edu. San Jose City College Athletics. Learn more about our program at sjccjagwires.com. American Asphalt, taking care of business in the Bay Area for over 40 years. Golden State Orthopedics and Spine. Our mission is to help each patient live their best life, whatever that means to them. The Jump Manual. Proven vertical jump training. Increase your vertical jump 10 inches in 12 weeks. Guaranteed. Claim your free download of Chapter 1 at projumptraining.com forward slash free. I had a whole other plans. Welcome back to NorCal Sports TV. I'm Sonny Oaks. You're watching the Coach Car Classic. Hosted by San Jose City College. It's the Monterey Peninsula. Lobos, they convert there. Adams taking on the Eagles from the College of the Siskiyous with campuses in Weed and Wairica. I believe they're the mo northernmost community college in California. We got a little jump ball here. So possession will go to the Eagles. Seventeen on the shot clock. It's Ely. Over two defenders. Can't get it. Newfield sneaks his way around. Out of bounds on the Lobos. Shot by Bernius Quick. One-hander by Luth. Newfield flying in, and they're going to get him with a foul. I'm 
That'll be his second. You see him coming around the side right there. Just a little bit reckless with his body. A little uncontrolled. And the ref hit him for it. Another quick whistle on the Eagles. This one looks like it'll be on Watts. And two shots for A.J. Gervainer. Who came into the tournament average in 6'3". 6.3 points a game on 64.3% shooting. 12 steals on the season. Coming into the tournament. Make sure you stick around for our second game as De Anza makes their first appearance in this tournament. And they're taking on the Bulldogs from Allen Hancock. Cabrera can't connect on that. Josh Allen can't handle the pass from Ely. It goes out of bounds. Lobos catch a break there. It'll be green inbounding. And Jean-Pierre bringing it up the court. Green from outside. Gabader on the rebound, going for it, gets fouled. Uh, Newfeld's going to take a seat. Looks like they called a foul on him. That'll be his third. Dobson comes in who's hit four threes already in this game. Quick shot there by Lobos. Green gets it in right, right at the basket. It's a five-point game difference now. A little over 12 minutes left in this game. NPC been finding a way to stay, stay in it. Swarming defense now by the Lobos. Dobson finds a little space and lets it rip. It's Bernie is there for the putback. Adams has to pick up his dribble. He gets the ball back, though, from Lopez. Adams. Goes right to the basket, has to come around the front of it a little bit, but he gets the little scoop layup. It'll be 11 points for him as the Lobos come up with it. Gabaner's hands get in the way. And Eric Green finishes the playoff. So NPC closing. The gap here, it's only a three-point game. Under 11 to go in the, in the second half. Allen finds a cutting Dobson who gets blocked by Adams. Gabaner comes up with it. Chance to tie. And it's green underneath the basket. Converts for two. One-point game. Eagles take a timeout. So good hustle by the Bulldogs. They worked their way back into it. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. As we watch this block here by Adams, Gabaner gets the ball right away. And Green comes back all the way on the other side as soon as uh, the defense gets distracted there by the cutting. There was another Lobos player that went left there. I left Green all alone. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. We'll be right back. San Jose City College has given me the chance to play for an amazing coach and thrive in an excellent academic environment. From the faculty to the coaches to the counselors, SJCC puts students first. 
City College has the perfect balance of athletic and academic support that I know will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Coming to SJCC is the best decision I have ever made. I love being a Jaguar. Yes! Hello and welcome back to NorCal Sports TV. I'm your host, Sonny Oaks. It's Coach Car Classic here at San Jose City College. Bulldogs. Hold on, the Eagles, you hear a whistle real quick. Go arm in the back. Looks like they called it on Lopez. Ely lets a rip. He connects. Nothing but net on that one. Ten to go in the game. Lopez, let's go. Can't get it. But they get an offensive rebound. And Green, it's another two points. That's 11 for him in the matchup. And for a moment, they had Dobson underneath the basket all alone. Josh Allen goes fighting for that rebound. Gets rewarded. Draws the foul. You see it come right there. Adams didn't have anywhere to go. Or Gabaner. Yeah, that was Gabaner who came right in there. Could have gone either way, kind of. Dobson hits the deck. We're gonna call another foul on Lopez here. That was right in front of us. Ref telling him to clean it up, less talk. We have a few subs as Titus comes back in, Semple and Garrard out there with Jean Pierre and Green for the Lobos. Ely, Dobson, Ellis, Dory, and Allen for the Eagles. As Dobson calls his own number, he drains it from 15. It's 14 on the day for him so far. Green underneath the basket again. The freshman guard, Eric Green, playing three feet taller than he is in this matchup. A lot of players in the deck. Eagles come up with it, and it's Dore who gets fouled by Najon Pierre, who's given up a foot there. And Height just refused to lose. Wouldn't quit. Coach Heath telling his players to talk to each other. Nice little conversation here between Allen and Dobson. Trying to figure out how to play a couple of some defense against these Lobos. So they work their way back in to this game after being down by double digits. Dory shoots the second. It's good. Three point difference. 838 left in the game. It's Jean Pierre with the ball for the Lobos. Eric Green. 
finds a shooter on the outside who stepped on the back of the line. Unfortunate turnover for the Lobos here. Josh Allen cutting, can't convert. Wanted a foul. It's Eric Green all alone. Plenty of space, can't get it. Dore hustled over there to get a hand in his face. Dory with a quick little spin move. But the Eagles get hit with the offensive. So Ely gets hit right there. You see it as Titus goes down again. Taking those charges for his team. Getting those offensive fouls. It's Green all alone. This time he had plenty of space. Can't connect though. Offensive rebound. Kenny Garrard in the right place at the right time for his team there. Get a second opportunity to either tie or get within one if they can convert. 12 on the shot clock. Garrard goes up. It's Ely with the rebound for the Eagles and they're pushing. It's Dobson. Finds Allen underneath the hoop, who converts this time. If you're the Lobos now, you got to keep that energy you've been playing with since the start of this second half. The one that got you back within a point. Semple with three left on the shot clock throws that one up. It's no good. Eagles control the ball again. Nick Dory puts the footwork on Semple though. Does enough to get the stop and foul on the rebound. So the clock stops. Just just over six minutes left in this in this game. 17 fouls on each team, so we're going one and one here. We're getting shots. See Simple hitting the deck there after that rebound. He did just enough on defense to alter that shot. Dory with a nice footwork, though. Simple connects on first of one and one. So who get a second one here? Interesting strategy here by MPC is they didn't put anybody in the lane. Had all everybody back to play defense in case of a miss. And now they put one player up there. It looks like Kenny Garrard on the line. So it's a four-point game, under six to go. Both teams have had little runs. But it's been Siskiyou who controlled most of the first half. Controlled most of the game, pretty much the entire first half. As they come up with a turnover here, it's Ellis. Gets past his defender, a little 360, and he's good. Clean play. Kenny Garrard all alone. Drains it. Space for days.
he had more space in the all outdoors right there. And he took advantage of it. 72 to 69 with 4.55 left. Both teams. It's Dobson looking for his fifth three. Can't get it. But Ely right there with another offensive rebound. And the putback can't get it. Lobos. It's Garrard with the rebound. He's pushing. He gets fouled. Well before the shot. Both teams over the limit, though. Titus, the only Lobo on the line, on the key. Three defenders back as Gerard hits the first one. Now four defenders back as they pull Titus. Gerard makes it a one-point game with 4.38 left to go. Siskiyou definitely out of their shooting slump from last night. The market improvement is Bernius finds himself with the ball right by the basket, but Semple does it get enough again. No Semple, just enough to stop that shot from going in. Sloppy pass here by the Lobos. If they catch a break, it's out of bounds on the Eagles. Time out here. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. I'm Sonny Oaks. We'll be right back. Growing up, I thought basketball was my best path. One shot to success. At San Jose City College, that all changed. My mentors saw more in me than I saw in myself and showed me that I could be anything. No one in my family had ever graduated from college, but I knew I had an obligation for future generations. At San Jose City College, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you set out to be. Discover your brilliance at San Jose City College. Welcome back to NorCal Sports TV. It's me, your guy, Sonny Oaks. You're watching the Coach Carr Classic, hosted by San Jose City College. I want to thank our sponsors for the wonderful hospitality room today. These Lobos from Monterey Peninsula fought themselves back into this game. They're only down by one with fantastic 409 left on the clock. Siski, who broke out of the shooting slump from the night before, getting closer to their Season average in scoring. Cabaner, baseline, can't get it. It's Ely. Eagles get a stop. Lobo's looking to do the same now. Will Dobson all alone on one wing. He's got four three-pointers in this game. Ely, little old man move, looking like a Lambeer move right there, right in front of the basket. He's got the Kareem goggles on. Everything missing was just a little, little hook on that shot. Full extension. Eric Green. Can't get it to fall, but what a nice move to get to the basket. Three minutes left in this game. It's anybody's contest. Quick hands by Semple. He knocks that out of bounds. It's 20 on the shot clock.
Ruff's doing a great job of keeping this game moving. All right, Lopez, Adam, Semple, Jean-Pierre, and Malik Ross on the floor for the Lobos. It's Dobson, Ellis, Bernius, Ely, and Luth for the Eagles. Lobo's not letting any space. They commit a foul on Ellis. Looks like it's going to be Lopez right in front of the basket. Shots coming up. Both team with 18 fouls. Nope, that goes going to go against Semple. It'll be his third. <laughs> Ellis connects on the first. He'll get another. Good for both of them. Makes it a five-point game. Just over 2.30 left in this contest. Malik Ross driving. Can't get it to go. It was quick hands by the Eagles. Forced another turnover. Dobson was the one who came up with it. Expect him to hold a little bit. Try to run some of that shot clock off up by five here. With just over two to go. 10 on the shot clock now. Lopez almost knocks it out of bounds. Ely goes up, gets his own rebound, and the putback is good. Two minutes left now. Lobos need to score and start getting stops if they want to keep up this comeback. Underneath, it's Adams. Gets that one to go. We got a timeout on the floor. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. I'm your host, Sonny Oaks. We'll be right back. San Jose City College has given me the chance to play for an amazing coach and thrive in an excellent academic environment. From the faculty to the coaches to the counselors, SJCC puts students first. City College has the perfect balance of athletic and academic support that I know will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Coming to SJCC is the best decision I have ever made. I love being a Jaguar. Jack! Welcome back to NorCal Sports TV. I'm Sonny Oaks. You're watching the Eagles from the College of Siskiyou take on the Lobos of Monterey Peninsula College. Each team looking for their first win of the Coach Carr Classic Tournament hosted by San Jose City College. Less than two to go in this game that's mostly been controlled by the Eagles. Monterey Peninsula has fought their way back. But the cold, shooting has gone cold again here. And a travel by Ellis, guarded by Titus. So there's one of the stops the Lobos need. If they're going to keep themselves in this game. Down by five. Adams. Cutting baseline, gets it. Great feed. Lobos need a stop here. No doubt about it. 15 on the shot clock. Eagles dribbling around. It's Newfeld. Seven on the shot clock. Ely finds himself with just a little space. He gets fouled on the attempt by Adams. 
Adams can't believe it. Take a look at this replay. It felt kind of like a late whistle. See Ely all alone for a moment. Adams comes flying over. Don't want to say uh, it was a flop, but he definitely sold that one. Minimal contact, but just enough to give Ely three shots at the line at a critical moment in the game. Less than a minute left now. Ely hits on two in a row with one left. And he's good for all three. Lobo's looking for a little bit of magic here. Gonna have to get a shot off quickly. Finally, Adams lets go. Can't get it. Ely with the rebound. And they throw it. He throws it ahead to Ellis with the easy layup. That should pretty much do it here. Titus, let's go. Drains it. Defender in his face. Doesn't get a foul call. Lobo's bench can't believe it, especially after the foul on the three-point shooter for the other team just a moment ago. Here you see Titus get the handoff in between two defenders. Great shot. It's 20 seconds left. It's a five-point game. And Monterey Peninsula just not ref just not giving up, refusing to lose here. Could have eked this one out to the last second if they can. Looks like we're going to get another. No, they're going to play on. We're not going to have two timeouts in a row. So 20 seconds left in this matchup. I suspect there's going to be a quick foul. This might take a few minutes to play these next 20 seconds. Still no foul. 15 left on the shot on the game clock. They get it ahead to Newfeld, and Adams finally fouls him with 10.8 on the game clock. <clears throat> We're going to see a bunch of free throws coming up here. If he hits them both, I'll be interesting to see if. The Lobos continue to foul. If he misses them, you can bet they're going to foul. Newfeld drains the first one. Dylan Newfeld is averaging 15 a game on 81.5% shooting coming into the tournament. For the season, he came in with 210 points. Adams goes up, he draws contact. About four seconds left to go in this game. Foul was against Ellis. It's his second, not that it matters at this point. Adams gets on the first one. Can't connect on the second, and Newfeld holds. That'll be it. Siskiyou, one-on-one -on, -one on this tournament now. Monterey Peninsula drops to 0-2 in this tournament. Both teams glad to get some of the rush from yesterday's games off. Both look a lot better on defense and shooting-wise. So hopefully we'll see that continue in the next game. Here on NorCal Sports TV, it's going to be the DeAnza Panthers taking on the Allen Hancock Bulldogs. That game's going to start at 5 o'clock, so don't go anywhere. I'm Sonny Oaks for Jason Green and everybody at NorCal Sports TV. Thanks for watching.